Today we are doing a chemistry wedding. We are marrying, marrying lithium and fluorine to make them stable. It just kind of helps us understand chemical reactions and how things work and how things bond. We're marrying off lithium and fluorine. Lithium is the groom, played by one of the kids in the class, and fluorine is one of the girls, and I'm the preacher or the minister or whatever. Well, lithium is on the left-hand side and he's a metal, and he has one electron that he wants to get rid of to become like a noble gas. Everyone wants to be like a noble gas on their outer shell. Fluorine needs one electron to become like a noble gas, so it's a very um, give-take relationship. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together to join this metal and non-metal in the bond of ionic matrimony. And if there is any element, whether metal or non-metal, that opposes this reaction, let them now speak or forever hold their weight like the nitrogen family sort of gets a little upset that the wedding's going on because they're exes to the bride and the groom. We object as well. Hey, oh, stop. They're in love, they're in love. Gosh, dang it. No, it's wrong. Like nitrogen, him and fluorine were a thing a little while back, but fluorine's a flirt and now she's with lithium. Now they're marrying and nitrogen just isn't happy about that. So it's a lot of drama. Lots of drama. And then at the end, they each take a ping pong ball that represents an electron from their hat and gives it to each other so that they're stable. It's pretty cool. Slash dorky. Then we're going to, um, after the wedding, do a dance. And the dance is according to their um, oxidation states. And I find someone, and they hold up their charge. And so we touch our fingers, and then we dance around in a circle. And that's how we get bonded. I bring them back up together and we dissolve the wedding before the, this class is over. <laughs> well, the kids want to do this because it's more fun than just sitting down and listening to a teacher tell you this is how they bond, this is what they do when they bond. I can refer to the wedding all the way through the year after we do it and they go, oh yeah, I remember that. It's being able to see it, being able to act it out almost. And it makes it a lot more fun to learn what's going on. And it, it covers several um, state court objectives all at once, which is cool.